not easy to get to these stairs. Well done. It's a great pleasure to welcome you to the Congress Theater. I've always found it interesting that the root of the word Congress is a Latin word, congere, which means to come together. And indeed, that's what we've done here. Come together in this time, in this place, for this purpose. All of your lives, paths, have led you to this moment together. In monasteries and other holy places all over the planet, periods of meditation usually begin with a sound. In most places, that sound comes from a bell. But in other places, it comes from a horn, sometimes a drum. Uh, Australian Aboriginal tribesmen use a flute they blow called a didgeridoo. But no matter what the source of the sound is, teachers and elders in all those cultures invite young students and monks there to use the sound as a tool, as an opportunity to use it as a carrier wave to load onto that sound your anxiety, your fear, your hope, your dreams, all of the stuff that collectively is like noise in the mind and send it out on that sound wave out into the universe to empty your mind of that clutter so that you may be better able to undertake your meditations with a more focused serenity. Now, I have no bell today. I have uh, no drum, uh, certainly no horn, and definitely no didgeridoo. So I will offer you instead this little meditative opportunity by supplying a sound from within our own tribe, the sound of a spinning whip. And I too will invite you to use these few moments to clear your heads because you're about to take an amazing journey, the next step in an already amazing journey. But I also want you to be clear-headed enough to hear what I'm going to say to you in a few minutes. Close your eyes, don't close your eyes, I don't care. Use this opportunity, don't use this opportunity. Your choice. So with all of that, I will offer you this. beyond our understanding. Men do not acknowledge leadership except through trial by combat. 
or occasionally through acts of heroism. But if you stop to think about it, acts of heroism are in a way just another kind of combat with a different part of yourself. Later on tonight, one of you will be chosen International or Mr. Leather 2003. I figure he's probably going to come to be known as the Silver IML. <laughs> <laughs> and when that happens, he will receive around his neck a medal exactly like the ones that all of you have around your necks right now. Only his will be a different color. And these, these weigh about 300 pounds, trust me. <laughs> I know, I've carried this one for a long damn time. And when he has it, he will carry it for as long as he wishes, in any way that he likes, pick it up, put it down, or not as he chooses. That is the way of this particular talisman. But in all the ways that matter most, the medals that you have on around your necks right now are vastly more important than these few golden ones that exist. And the reason for that is that the real bedrock of the leather BDSM world isn't to be found among the men who are here in Chicago this weekend for this event, or even among the people who will be in the theater tonight. The real bedrock of this whole erotic style is found back home in the places where you came from. And the people back there need what you have. They need your ideas, they need your spirit, they need your caring, they need your support, they need your understanding, they need what leadership they are ready, willing, and able to accept. But most of all, they need your action. It is a great honor for me to welcome all of you into the brotherhood of this medallion. Trial by fire. So I charge you now all with the responsibility to return to the places where you came from and do the work that waits for you there, because that's noble work. It matters. It's great fun to change the world, and I can promise, to promise you that you will feel better about yourselves for having done so when you have. But most importantly, I can promise you that generations of unborn leather folks will bless you for the gift of your passion and your trouble. And on their behalf, I thank you now. On these things, think and meditate in silence for 58 seconds, one for yourself and one for your brothers here. Begin that meditation now. <laughs> 